Leonard Williams, who grew up for some reason a Raider fan. I know you hate the Raiders. The Raiders right now are where quality football people go to die. In spite of all of that negative publicity saying that you couldn't win, how did, how did you do it? He said, I ignored my critics. I just didn't pay any attention to them. I ignored myself because they kept on saying it so much, there were times I doubted whether or not I can do what I needed to do. Raiders agreed to terms on contracts with offensive lineman Kalichi Osimile. And you've got to be so relentless, regardless of what comes down the pipe. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. It was the Oakland Raiders who made a strong push for Bruce Irvin. Championships aren't won in the theater of the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, in the training room, when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. Oakland Raiders have agreed to terms with cornerback Sean Smith. I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave there. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not. Why would you work so hard? I said, I'm not working for them. Nelson comes to the Raiders on a two-year deal. The heart of a champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, then you do it right. The best of your ability every single time. I've been cheating myself and my family, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit. Develop the habit of, of setting standards that others will be measured by. Someone said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. Do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. And when you give the best you can and that's not enough, you must do what is required. We all fall down in life. The question is, who gets back? You go after it. You give it all you have. If you lose it, at least you try. I failed. It's ten times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena? on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. There's greatness in you. Success, many will love the poor. The majority will hate you. Because your success makes them feel insufficient in their current endeavor. Reminds them of where they could have done it if they came up short and how they didn't revisit it. With the 14th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Oakland Raiders select Carl Joseph. Here in Carl Joseph, you're looking at somebody that's got the range to play up high. He's got outstanding ball skills, and for somebody that's a little bit undersized, he will come up and hit you. He plays a lot bigger than his measurables. This guy's a stud, Mike. Maybe this is a little bit early, but he fits into what this Oakland defense is building here. They've got all the guys up front. Now they've got in the back end, Rich, that can really make some play. With the 44th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the mighty, mighty, mighty open race select, Jahan Ward. He wore number 17 at Illinois. Why? His mom gave birth to him at age 17. He wasn't a great high school football player, but he went to a junior college in New York, took public transportation two hours doing from practice every day. How did he eat? Well, he, had, he got public sustenance just to eat on a daily basis. With the 75th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Oakland Raiders select Shalit Calhoun. He's going to be somebody that can help you in the run game and develop as a pass. I covered him in the Big Ten a lot. This is a good pick for the Oakland Raiders. So all defense for the Oakland Raiders. I think over the years,
years, I, I stood myself and I started to strengthen in areas where I wasn't so, you know, strong at the beginning with it. Uh, now I'm at the state where I understand that I'm more mature, you know. Uh, definitely uh, my time management is a lot better and, and I carry myself in, in a completely different way. The 100th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Oakland Raiders select Connor Cook. Rich McKenzie, he comes from that Green Bay tree. They collect quarterbacks. If you think he's going to be better than what your current backup situation is, I have zero problem with that. Right now in Oakland, Matt McGloin, Garrett Gilbert, he should compete nicely for the number two job for there right. at that place right away. And after waiting two nights, it's uh, good for Connor Cook that there's a team that trades up to get him. Say, we want you, we went ahead and we moved up to go get you. With the 143rd pick in the 2016 draft, the Oakland Raiders select DeAndre Washington. But he's compact and stronger than you what you think. Can run the football. That's not a problem for him. But I think where he really affects the game and where he hurts people is in space. Yep. Get him out there and get the ball to him. He can catch it out of the backfield. He can split out into a slot position and run routes. Has that toughness you see getting into the end zone. We're seeing a lot of running plays, but I believe his strength is in the passing game. Getting this kid's it. got a great opportunity. Yeah. Con la selección 194 del draft de 2016, los Raiders de Oakland seleccionan a Corey Gates. Played outside linebacker in 2014, uh, played inside linebacker in 2015, edge speed. I think he's an interesting player from the standpoint of, I, I throw him on the edge. I mean, if this guy can go get people off the edge, which he did in 2014, put him out there and let him go run. But what you're having, basically, Oakland's taking a shot on a guy that they think can be a disruptor. And when you're this deep in the draft, why not? The Oakland Raiders select guard from Louisiana State, Badal Alexander. And when he really is the guy that was playing outside and has the bump inside. Physical to move people off the ball, played in a pro style offense at LSU, where he really knocked people back. He's a knockback player. The Raiders want to be a physical team. He's a guy that can contribute to that, give their offensive line some of that knockback ability. He can hit you and he can move you a little bit, so he's got that one trait that you love, power. I thought he'd go a little bit earlier. Um, I wasn't as high on Vidal Alexander, but I did think he'd go within the first five picks since he is as strong as he is.